What's good? This is Trey, and the topic of this presentation is how to overcome shyness. All right? So, shyness. What does it mean to be shy? I just looked it up on Google. It says something about being reserved, timid, and I think nervous in the presence of others. Um, the way I see that is basically uh, you're not able to freely express yourself and be authentic and um, yeah, just be socially free. So how do you overcome this shyness, this shy behavior? Well, I feel like this is a topic I can speak on because I used to be really shy um, in my younger years, like I wanna say uh, middle school, high school, a uh, little bit after high school. It's pretty shy dude and I would hear like people would um, describe me as this right so I didn't really describe myself as shy but people would say it to me and I kind of just started believing it you know back then right so how was I able to overcome shyness because obviously now I'm not shy you know like I'm able to get in front of a, a live you know a video like this and do a live presentation and put myself out there done a ton of YouTube videos. I've approached, um, you know, I want to say thousands of women, probably over 10,000 or whatever, right? That's not shy. Those are not shy things, right? So, but there was a point where, you know, all this stuff that I'm doing right now would sound like uh, impossible, right? And so what, what did I do? How did I evolve or transform into this beingness that is no longer that no longer has that shy identity this is an, it's an identity it's not who I really was it's just an identity I took on so I was able to overcome it by first um, looking okay where did this shit come from like why am I being shy because you look at I don't believe shyness is natural right because if you look at a baby which we were all babies at some point babies are not shy babies express themselves <laughs> authentically <laughs> and they don't give a you know they don't care what nobody thinks right they just um they just you know if they want to if they want some food they're gonna cry if they want uh attention they're gonna cry if they want this they're gonna get loud you know what i mean like they're not shy about anything so if you know we were all babies and i, I never really seen i've never come across a shy baby so i don't believe that shyness is a natural um, way of being I understand there's introverts that's normal it's normal to be introverted it's normal to be a little reserved but as far as shy meaning you're like unable to express yourself or afraid to express yourself shit like that there's something that happened in your life that um, created that behavior that way of being and I looked at it for my life for me you know, when I look at it, I'm like, okay, where did this shit start? Why, how did I become shy? And basically, I was a good kid growing up. Like, I was, I was actually, I wanted to be good, right? Like, you know, some kids are just bad and they don't give a fuck. I wasn't like that. I was, I wanted my parents to be proud of me. I wanted my parents to love me and, and accept me. So I used to be a good kid. However, I wasn't perfect. So I would make mistakes. Right. Like sometimes I would do something wrong or say the wrong thing. And my father was really strict. My father was really strict. So if you said the wrong thing or did the wrong thing, you would get punished. Um, like verbally, like he would, you know, make you feel like shit like, oh, are you stupid? Or, oh, you don't know. You don't know anything or, you know, like he'd bring you down. That was his, his way of discipline. And obviously, as a kid, you don't understand that you just it just makes you feel bad. It makes you not want to say anything you know whereas when i got older i realized oh he was just very disciplined and he wanted me to you know um basically like be my best self or whatever you know so that was his way of going about it, it was kind of harsh kind of strict or whatever but as i got older i realized okay he was just a disciplinary you know but as a kid it was a, it was just a little too extreme for a kid like a kid especially a kid that's a good kid trying to do good and then Every time you do something wrong, you get punished severely. So you you get to this point where you don't even want to say anything. You know, like if I said the wrong thing, you know, he would basically kind of, you know, scold me like, 
oh, you don't know how to do this and da da da. And you know, sometimes I get, you know, get my ass beat. You know, like he'd go and get the belt and beat me for not knowing shit or whatever. And so what that led to is it led to me, you know, starting to uh, hold back and filter my communication and. I became inhibited, meaning I couldn't really express myself because I was afraid of saying the wrong thing, of doing the wrong thing. And that's what created this shy behavior. So it actually started, you know, in my childhood, you know, with my parent, you know, the way how my father uh, would discipline me. And so in school, you know what I mean? I was just, you know, afraid to say the wrong thing. You know, I didn't feel like I was worthy to speak up in class and shit like that. You know, I'd be cool around my friends, but as far as like, you know, like uh, when it came to like group activities and stuff like that, I would always be the quiet guy, right? Because I didn't want to say the wrong thing, you know, because I hear my dad's voice in the back of my head. Oh, you don't know shit. Oh, you don't know this. Or, you know, are you stupid or whatever? You know, that's just how my dad was. And, and you know, is what it is. But as a kid, I just didn't get it, right? And so I took it the wrong way and I just it just made me feel worthless or whatever. So I ended up becoming really shy in middle school and high school. And so I kind of just, I kind of just accepted it. You know what I mean? I... <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. So I kind of just accepted this, this identity of, okay, I'm, I'm just this shy kid. There's nothing I can do about it. I would obviously, you know, as a kid, you don't understand why you're shy. You just are shy and it just is what it is. And I kind of just accepted it. Um, so this is middle school and high school, you know, especially when it came to girls, I was super shy, you know what I mean? And they would be like, oh, you're so shy and this and that. And I would feel like, a, I would just feel like so lame, but I didn't know what to do about it. You know what I mean? Like when I got home, I would be super cool and, ah, oh, yeah, I should have said this and should have said that or whatever. And then I go back to school and be shy again. So pretty much middle school and high school, I was that shy dude. Um... I mean, I had, don't, don't get it wrong, like, get it twisted. I did have friends, and I, you know, I wasn't, like, you know, like, super shy, but I was shy to the point where people would say it to me, you see what I'm saying? So, it was, it was obvious to others that I was not be, I was not expressing myself freely, and, you know, especially girls, you know, girls are really uh, aware of these things, like, you know, they're very, like, into social dynamics and, um, the social hierarchy and stuff like that and it's funny because i i had a certain look like i used to dress you know um back in like the the early 2000s stuff like that like hip-hop you know used to have the baggy clothes or whatever so i would dress cool and stuff like that but i would i wouldn't have any uh communication skills and i wouldn't speak up for myself so it was kind of weird like i gave off this weird vibe to people they kind of didn't get it but anyway um when i left high school um obviously you know you know you're, you're basically a man at this point you know i was 18 or becoming a man whatever you want to call it a young man and uh i had a car and i would that was when i really was getting into pickup you know the pickup industry learning how to pick up women and talk to women and all that stuff but i was still kind of shy and shit you know what i mean um so what I did was I was like, okay, like, it seems like it's either I'm just going to be shy or I'm going to have to do something about this. You know what I mean? Like I had to take matters into my own hands. So what I did was I just said, okay, there's this whole idea of like going out and like approaching women and talking to them. This is an opportunity for me to overcome my shyness, meaning I could go out and talk to people and not have the same consequences I would if I did it in my social circle. You know what I mean? Because a part of the reason why I was so shy was because I was afraid of the consequences of saying something, of saying something. Uh, let me see if I can get you on, bro. I see you here trying to get on. What's up, bro? Uh, 
Right. Hey, so I'm testing out the connection. It seems a bit slow, which is why. It's getting, like clear, you. getting clear now, bro. What's good? What's up? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I was just playing around testing, like, it's been a while since I've been able to actually, like, get on camera. Hi, how you doing? Doing good, bro. I was just talking about how to open some shop. Let me let me see if I can get a better connection. Hi, sorry, I kind of came in in the middle. You were you were kind of talking about something. Yeah, yeah. The the, the topic was uh, how to overcome shyness. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely talk about that. Yeah. So so, what would you add? Because so far I was I was basically talking about um, you know how I used to be shy and. And basically, when I got out of high school, uh, part of the process that I took on to get out of my shyness was I used cold approach pickup. You know what I mean? Because the, the part of the reason I was shy was because in your social circle, you know, if you say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing, you know, you can like kind of, you know, freak people out or kind of violate the, the social environment or, you know, people will start rumors, oh, this guy's weird, this shit like that. So I wouldn't like take risks as far as like, uh, stepping up socially because I was shy. You see what I'm saying? So I use cold approach pickup to kind of work on that because you don't have those same consequences that you have in your social circle or whatever. Um, so what would you say about that? It's definitely a complex topic. I was definitely shy for various reasons. I was always kind of an outsider in any social group growing up in high school. And before that, I was definitely one of the outsider kids is the sound coming through okay yeah yeah okay good yeah and it was actually during high school that i kind of discovered the whole pickup community and all of like the different teachers and history behind it and kind of started coming out of my shell rather like assorting my own space, which is a big, a very big part of what I would say overcoming shyness is being able to be assorted over your own space, the space around you, being able to be comfortable in where you are because people can absolutely see that right away. And it's something that as someone shy and sometimes very unsocial, I figured out is that if I'm comfortable in my own space, no matter where I am, then other people will be comfortable in and in control, even if I'm not even talking to anybody. If I'm at a club and I'm just sitting there, like relaxing with like whatever drink I am and I'm just very comfortable in my space. And part of it, a big part of it is eye contact and what you do with your eyes. If you're sitting there in your own space and you're not actually looking at anybody outside of this space, then you're creating this sort of barrier around you that makes it difficult for people to interact through that barrier. If you're making eye contact, you're in the club and you're looking at people, and you're actually engaging, then you're creating this much bigger environment that is kind of allowing people in. So even without talking, you can control this environment too. If you are comfortable with your own space, like sitting down, you can get up, you can walk around, you can approach people. And if you're very comfortable with yourself talking to other people, then people will be very comfortable talking to you to sum it up in some words. Yeah. Yeah, bro, for me, you know, I was pretty much labeled as a shy guy, like all the way out through middle school to the end of high school. That I mean, so it was like a long period of time where I dealt with that identity. When I got out of high school, that's when I really worked on like getting rid of it. Cause I was like, yo, this, this whole being shy thing is not gonna get me where we grow, it's like. Well, where is it from your, from your play? Let's do it from your play. play. In, yes. Um, yes. Cool. It was like, okay. Like a 
consistent thing. Like, okay, this is something I gotta like work on. You know what I mean? Like, I can't just be going through my life as a shy guy. Like, it's one thing to be introverted, but like shy to me, that's just not. You know what I mean? It's not natural for you to not want to express yourself. You know what I mean? That's something happened that led to that. And for me, you know, I looked back at my past and it was, for me, it was my father. Like my father used to be very strict and he was, a, you know, a very strict disciplinarian. So if I would say something wrong or do something wrong, he would scold me very harshly. You know, he would say, oh, you're stupid. You don't know this or oh, you, what's wrong with you, or oh, shut your mouth. You know, he was like that. And then, you know, he'd also, like, physically beat me if I said or did the wrong thing. And so what that did for me is I started, like, holding back my communication. I'm like, okay, if I say the wrong thing, you know, I get punished, right? So then I just started creating this identity of let me, like, not, you know, be very careful with what I say and let me be in my head all the time. And I started to create this identity, and that's what led to this this shy identity, but um, I think it was a real good thing that I was able to go back into my past and look and figure out where this behavior started or where it came from, you know what I mean? Because then I was able mm -hmm. to, um, to kind of realize, okay, it wasn't, it wasn't like, this is not me. This is something that happened that triggered this behavior in myself. And that means I can take responsibility and do something about it. You know what I mean? I can get rid of this this part of myself and design design the real me. You know, the me that wants that can express himself. You know, because I think I was using that shyness to protect myself. You know, protect myself from saying the wrong thing and being ridiculed or. That. So that's more than just being shy. What you're talking about that is straight up trauma, and there's plenty of people that have trauma to do with not just behaving. Hey, come here. Daddy, Daddy is talking with people. You can say hi. Hi. Hello. Some people have trauma related. Have trauma to do with being sexual with people. Lots of people have inhibitions and insecurities about just being sexual with other people and trying to overcome these traumas. What in the community is known as inner game becoming okay with doing this with women, with looking at her and being confident and smiling and holding that sexual tension that like, yes, I find you attractive. Being able to do that with a woman, getting to that point is the whole process in the head that people have to go through. Because once you get to that point, then, then that's it. You have what you need. Yeah, exactly, man. So yeah, um, so this whole this whole topic of shyness, like, have you dealt with a lot of guys who kind of, um, you know, came to you and like, man, how do I overcome this shyness thing? Like, what are what are some things you you kind of advise them on, or maybe some steps you help them take uh, to overcome that? So I don't think it's an easy thing. I think that it's very much like it's one of the it's a very complicated issue because each person has their own reasons for being inhibited. And it's a very individual work figuring out how you're inhibiting yourself, how you're slowing yourself down and holding yourself back. Because I've seen so many people and like sometimes it's just like saying something simple to someone like telling them that women can see through your bullshit like when you put up a thought when you're trying to pretend to be somebody else, then they see that weakness in you and and you can't really hide it. You just have to be straight up with them. You have to be honest. You have to be upfront. You can't be going pretending to be someone that you're not. And that's enough for them to like overcome and be like, oh, well, like, okay, so I don't have to pretend to be anybody. I can just be whatever and and be okay with it. And that's sometimes is enough to help people. And sometimes it's really taking them by the hand and going up with them next to them, like having conversations with women and then like going sexual with those conversations and talk about like sexy stuff and just getting them to the point that they're just comfortable being in that space. And it, it can be different from 
for everybody because everybody's got like slightly different fuck ups and slightly different traumas and like slightly different upbringing that like fucks them up in different ways. Yeah. Word, word. So yeah, bro. Um, what up? What else do we touch on here? I, I don't know, but my 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 baby needs me, so I. Like I, I just felt like jumping on and testing the system to see like if we could get it to work and like have a have a quick chat, but like yeah, I, I, did you come? I'll I'll see you. I'll, I'll we'll try this again later. No doubt, no doubt. Take care. Okay, take care. Peace. All right, so where were we? So once I got, okay, so once I got out of high school, um, you know, I got into this whole idea of approaching women, cold approach pickup, right? And I basically used that to work on overcoming my shyness, right? I would use that to work on my social skills, to get comfortable in my own skin, to get comfortable expressing myself and being judged and you know what I mean? Just putting myself out there because being shy for so many years, middle school to high school, how many years is that? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, seven years of holding on to this shy identity, you know, is that's not going to be easy to overcome, right? But for me, I just, I just got to this point where I was like, yo, I was just sick of that identity. Like, I don't want to be a shy guy. Like, what is that? You know what I mean? Like it's, it wasn't getting me anywhere with, 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 with women, you know, it was holding me back in business, you know, cause I was into entrepreneurship and, um, you know, doing different things as, as far as like marketing and, and building sales funnels and getting clients and this and that you can't, you know, being shy is going to hold you back from success in many different areas. So i made a decision to take responsibility. Um, as Solomon said, uh, the, the guy that was just on his name, Solomon, um, he's talking about, oh, he was mentioned that, okay, you know, past trauma, we have to go back and look in our past and see what it was that led to us becoming this shy individual. And then we have to come to terms with that and, and release ourselves and let go of that identity. Right. I came to terms. I, I have no, I'm not like mad at my, my father for disciplining me or scolding me or whatever. I just had to come to terms with it. Okay, this is what led to that shyness. I used it to protect myself, right? Protect myself from saying the wrong thing and doing the wrong thing in the, in the social context, right? So once I saw, okay, that's what it was, I was like, okay, now I just have to release this. I have to let go of this. I don't need this, this uh, identity anymore. It's not supporting me. I don't need to protect myself. I can handle... Uh, you know, expressing myself and whatever comes comes with that, whatever judgment or whatever comes with that. But I had to prove that to myself. And so cold approach, going out and approaching women, this helped me to overcome this because I had the opportunity to work on expressing myself and dealing with rejection because that's a part of it. Some girls are going to reject me and I have to just feel that emotion of rejection and learn to accept it, right? And then going out and also having success, seeing that there are some people who value my communication and want to hear what I have to say and things like that. And so just getting these different experiences and references allow me to gradually overcome my shyness, right? You start becoming more confident. You start believing in yourself more. It brings up your self-esteem. You know what I mean? And I stay consistent because I was sick and tired of the identity. It's like you have to, you have to really get to this point where you just had enough you know, had enough of, of whatever it is, right? So if we're talking about shyness, you have to get to a point where you're like, I don't want to be shy. I'm just done with this, right? And so I took the route of exposure therapy. I exposed myself to these situations where I was put in, I put myself in social situations and I spoke and I communicated and I expressed myself and I put myself in tense situations. Speaking to a stranger, that's pretty tense. You know, that's like you're going to ex you're going to experience some anxiety or whatever. But I continuously put myself through that. And over time, I gradually started becoming comfortable and expressing myself. All right. Another thing that helped me with that is making YouTube videos. Before I was doing these Facebook lives, I had a YouTube channel. Um, it used to be uh, I used to be in the basketball niche. I used to make these videos 
helping people improve their basketball skills. And I made these videos. I was the one communicating on the videos. I was the one expressing myself. And I used to get really good feedback, different people from all around the world saying, hey, man, your videos helped me improve my basketball skills. Your videos helped me make the basketball team. Your videos this and that. So now it's like I'm getting all this positive reinforcement telling me that I need to communicate. I need to speak. I need to express myself because people are getting value from it, right? So now I'm more and more releasing, removing myself from that shy identity because that shy identity was created because I thought I had nothing of value to say. I thought that I was going to say the wrong thing. I thought I was going to do the wrong thing, right? So for me, it was taking the, making this decision to say, I'm no longer going to accept this identity. I'm no longer going to be this shy guy or whatever. I also did something else. I also reframed it too, because that's something you can do, right? I don't really see this shy. I see this, you know, you can reframe it into I'm observant, you know, I'm quiet and observant, or I'm calculated, or I'm a silent assassin. You can you can reframe it into something cool. Because, you know, we call it shy, it just sounds, uh, he's shy, you know, it makes you just sound weak or whatever. But you can reframe it into something, you know, maybe you like being shy. Maybe you like being quiet or whatever. So reframe it. I'm a silent assassin. I'm observant. You know, I'm calculated. Whatever it is, I'm strategic. I'm whatever, I'm like a snake or whatever. You know, you can reframe it and make it cool, Right? So you have these two choices. You can reframe it or you can remove the identity. So I, I, I guess you could say I did both. I didn't completely let go of that identity because I see it's kind of useful. You know, being able to be quiet and just listen, that's a useful skill. That's a useful quality to have. You learn a lot when you can listen. You know, you pick, you'll get information. Everybody's yap, 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 yap. And you're listening. You're getting information. You're learning shit. And then when it's time to speak, you have something of value to say because you you done, you don't soaked up the information and you have a good understanding of what's going on and then you say the right thing right so you can learn how to take your what we used to be your weakness or whatever and turn it into your strength right so that's what i did you know what i mean like i'm able to communicate and speak up or whatever it's like i have different characters that i can play i think that's that's something as a man, that's cool to have is when you can tap into different characters, right? So, as I said, I looked, went back in my back into my past and I saw where this whole shyness thing came from. I accepted it. I came to terms with it. You know what I mean? Maybe I had maybe I had some resentment to my father when I first uh, detected that's where it came from, but I forgave him and I, you know, let go and, and accepted it. And then I was able to use it, as I said. You know, I can use this this character, this quiet, calculated character to in, in certain situations, it's actually very useful. Certain situations you need to be quiet. You know what I mean? You need to like not run your mouth so much. So so yeah, so that that's kind of how I went about uh dealing with shyness is uh exposure therapy, like going out, you know working on my social skills, let, like expressing myself, basically creating this new version of myself that wasn't shy, wasn't shy. And I had to do it through action. That's the thing, you can't just sit around and think it's gonna happen. I went out and took action. I went out and started speaking to strangers, right? Talking to strangers, the good thing about it, you don't have too many, con you don't really have consequences the same way you would if you go and uh, talk to your social circle and you, if your social skills aren't too well, you'll be labeled as the weird guy or whatever. Whereas when you're talking to strangers, you're never going to see that person again. So you can make mistakes. You can, you know what I mean? Test things out and, and work on uh, your, your social skills or whatever. And then the other one I mentioned is reframing. So instead of calling yourself a shy guy, just call yourself, um, you know, say, you know, I'm a silent assassin or I'm quiet and calculated or, you know what I mean? Find, find words that, are, that sound cool to you that you actually want to associate with as opposed to shy, you know, shy, they, they, they put like this weak context on it, like this weak, um, like when you think of a shy person, you just think of somebody that's like, oh, I can't talk and shit, right? So just put like a cooler label on it, right? Something that you actually resonate with or something that you think is cool and then use that, you know, but also have that extroverted side, have that side of you. You don't want to be limited to one beingness. 
You know what I mean? You can have different ways of being, you know? You can have like a party wild side, but you can also have a cool, calm and collective side. Like that's, to me, that's, that's great. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, that's pretty much my advice on overcoming shyness, you know, uh, exposure therapy and reframing. All right, if you need some extra help with this, right, and you kind of would, would like my support, send me a private message. Um, I can give you some specific advice on how you can work on this and overcome your shyness and, you know, start to have the freedom to express yourself and create these different experiences that are waiting for you. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.